Okay, it's time to show you what I've built. This is ugly, but so here we have a 3D printed little holder and I have my color checker passport, three wooden balls, just spheres that I've painted in NCS 8500, NCS 5000 and NCS 300. We have a glass orb and a chrome ball. Mm, I'm just gonna put this away. All right, so to the left here, I have a reference image that I shot with my camera. And to the right, I have 3 ds Max with Corona render this time, and uh, an identical version of my physical balls. So this is, again, NCS 8500, NCS 5000, NCS 300, and a glass ball and a chrome ball and my color checker passport. And the funny thing here is that the HRI is set to a strength of one. So just default one. And in my camera settings in Corona, I have nothing. I have set my camera. You can see here I have my uh, Corona camera and I've set all the values to exactly the same as the camera had when I shot this image and the same white balance here. And I have no contrast, no filmy tone mapping, no curves, nothing. It's just the ASUS standard thing there. And I have been able to calibrate this HRI so they are matching almost perfectly. So you can see here, if I compare these two, they're not 100% perfect, but they are pretty bloody close. Uh, so if I zoom in, here and I zoom in here you can see that so the colors are not matching perfectly this is a bit too bright probably because uh, the angle is a little bit different uh, but the colors are pretty much the same and if I go to these little spheres here you'll see that they are matching quite well I can just set a focus point here um, they are matching pretty well as you can see, uh, the highlights here are a little bit different and I can probably fix that by adding some kind of filmic mapping here and reducing the, or increasing, I mean, highlight compression. Well, that didn't actually bring it back, but okay. But I can probably do that with curves or something like that. Because in Corona, you have curves. So the highlights are a little bit different, but bear in mind, again, I have no Tone mapping, I have nothing at all. Everything is default. If I move along to this little glass orb and place them side by side. So they are quite close. And if I go to here, to the white and chrome balls, also fairly close. I'm just gonna set my focus point. Not the quickest render though. A nice thing is if I go to Photoshop here and I go to um, camera raw filter, and if I now set my exposure in camera to minus two, like this, and I go to Corona, and I have a simple exposure here that is just added on top of my photographic exposure. And if I enable that, also in minus two, you will see that they are almost matching identically still. And here I have rotated the HRI and again, you can see that it actually it matches pretty well. <laughs> I like this. So you can see it isn't perfect, like I said. You can see the color here on the on the wall on the house of this HRI isn't really matching. But I could probably, this is probably something that comes from the tone mapping uh, that is going on when you are merging the HDRI together. Um, I could probably fix that by going in and, and changing the hue and saturation on different color values and color channels. Um, but it's just, it takes a while to do that because I didn't want to do that in Corona. I want to do that in Photoshop, in the HDRI. So I can just throw the HDRI into a standard scene and I know that it will be correct. Also you can see there's a little blue hue here that I don't really have here. I don't really know why. Also, my material on this ball isn't isn't really very good, but so we can go to another one. Let's try let's try this one. So all I gotta do is to rotate the edge dry and match it. So now you can see for some reason it gets more 
like overexposed and I don't really know why that is maybe the sun in my star is a little bit too strong or there's actually you know I have I haven't done anything to this image so it should kind of match but it doesn't so if I go to corona here and I just reduce this to zero like zero yeah like that now this is looking pretty good so again it's not like 100% perfectly calibrated but it's still pretty bloody close as you can see here that there's like a darker darker rim around here that you don't really have here and I don't know if that's due to the corona material and stuff like that but I don't really care. I mean, this is the nerd in me is is cheering right now. So I, I think this is super fun. I will show you how I've done this. It, it's quite simple, actually, but there are a few things that will ruin. I mean, so it's not complicated. It's just you need to know what not to do so you don't destroy it. I will show that to you in another video. So in this video, I, uh, this is not very useful to you, but, um, I just wanted to, I just got excited. So I just wanted to show this. <laughs> so anyway, um, see you in the next one. Ciao.